I probably started sailing snipes with my dad when I was uh, about 10, 9 or 10 years old. So the first boat I sailed in was my dad's. It was built by Clark Mills in Clearwater, who is the same one that built the original and designed the Opti. But uh, So it was a plywood boat, 12192, which uh, my dad had sailed in the nationals and world competitions. So my dad uh, learned how to sail from his brothers in its snipes. And then uh, so it was my uncles as well as cousins and uh, all of us sort of learned to sail together. But by the time my cousins were in high school and I was coming up, we probably, there must have been five or six boats between the family sailing on the lake sometimes, yeah. Learned a lot from both my uncles, uh, Frank and Buzz, and the sail on the snipes crewing for them, as well as having them crew for me a little bit, and cousins, but probably my dad, I guess. Well, I think one of the reasons I've stuck with it for so long is the, it's, it's got a little bit of the technical side, so you've got controlling the mass bend and, and things like that, and yet it's not so much of a performance boat that you lose the tactical aspect of it. So, you know, there's a lot of tactics involved. Clearly boat speed, you got to have good boat speed, especially on a big uh, venue like this. The level of competition is so high, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something to continue to, uh, you know, a goal to, to reach for. It's, there's always room for improvement. Uh, yet the nice thing is that you can walk up to really any of the top competitors and if, you're, if you've got a problem with speed and you, know, you say, ask them, well, what do you do? They'll help you, they'll give you their numbers and talk to you about you know, how they, how they uh, adjust the boat for different conditions. And uh, so there's a lot of good camaraderie, camaraderie within the uh, uh, snipe class, which is important. You don't see really any argument or, you know, certainly there's conflict when you, you try to get inside somebody at a mark. There's, and there might be a protest, but for the most part, everybody sails very cleanly. And, and they, they know the fastest way to get around the course is not to be hooked up next to somebody. So they don't, they don't try silly things sometimes. And so that makes it more enjoyable for sure. My wife and I sailed together out of college, and uh, we continued to sail the boat, bringing our girls up in sailing in the class. My wife and I uh, at the, would drive up and down the East Coast to the regatta circuit, and uh, after our kids came, it got a lot harder to do that, and we didn't do quite as much traveling. But um, uh, we're back into it now, and Katie's been the one that's had the most interest of late in terms of sailing, though uh, Sally sailed with me earlier and did a lot of uh, the junior programs at our, at our boat club. And then she didn't do quite as much sailing, but has uh, jumped back into it at the, at the college level, crewing on the, of the tough sailing team. And I think she was part of the reason that the two of them are here sailing together today, is she was uh, anxious to sail with her sister. And so uh, it's kind of whoever's available. And I have to work my wife into the, Sarah into the uh, equation from time to time as well. She's had to take a bit of a back seat, but she's also been sailing with other, other uh, boat club members and is down here sailing with somebody else this week. So. Well, there was a time our, our, uh, our uh, trailer wheel passed us on the highway. We were double decking to the Nationals in Kansas and uh, it was a 35 hour trip. Down here it was only 26 hours, so it was pretty easy getting down here, I guess. But uh, now, somewhere in Pennsylvania, going down some mountains, the trailer was wobbling a little bit and uh, all of a sudden we saw the wheel, trailer wheel go past us on the highway. So we found, the amazing thing was we actually found, found the wheel and took a couple lug nuts off the other side and put them back on. And, and you don't see many trailer shops, but as it turns out, we didn't go much more than one exit and there was a boat trailer shop just down the hill. We pulled over and ran down and they were open and got it fixed and made it down to, the, down to Kansas for the Nationals. So.